Tata Motors is the leading electric car manufacturer in the country. And now they have launched their largest and the most expensive electric car, the Harrier EV. We are in Delhi to take a test drive and tell you all about it. Let's get started. Let's begin with the design. At first glance, the Tata Harrier EV carries forward the imposing and familiar silhouette of its eyes sibling. But there are subtle changes that give it a unique identity. The closed off upper grille with horizontal slats is a clear indicator of its EV nature, replacing the cascading pattern from the diesel version. Below that, the functional lower grille features vertically stacked elements, enhancing aerodynamics while still looking aggressive. Sleek LED DRLs stretch across the front, integrating into a continuous light bar giving the Harrier EV a modern electric flair. From the side, the Harrier EV retains the same muscular profile, but look closer and you'll spot some new touches. The aerodynamic alloy wheels are unique to the EV variant and contribute to reduced drag. The proportions are well balanced with squared off wheel arches and strong shoulder lines. It continues to have the road presence that made the Harrier iconic, but with a cleaner and more premium electric twist. The EV specific badging and a new set of exterior color options further differentiate it from the diesel Harrier. At the rear, the styling remains largely similar to the ICE version, but the connected tail lamps now feel even more futuristic in this electric guide. There's also a neatly integrated rear camera on the shark fin antenna, a part of the new digital IRVM system. And if you look closely, the rear also gets EV branding to subtly remind onlookers that this is no ordinary Harrier. Step inside and the Harrier EV greets you with a sense of familiarity, but with some notable upgrades. The centerpiece is the new 14.5 inch new QLED touchscreen sourced from Samsung. It's vibrant crisp and feels like a proper premium display, a big step up from traditional TFT screens. However, the camera quality falls short and higher resolution sensors would have allowed the display to showcase its full potential. The dashboard layout is largely carried over with a few EV specific tweaks. There's a new digital IRVM that doubles as a DVR with support for smartphone app integration, capable of recording front and rear footage. It takes some time to get used to the digital IRVM. And personally, I would still prefer a conventional day-night IRVM over this setup. Down here, you get a premium leather finish gear selector along with a rotary terrain mode selector offering options like normal, rock crawl, mud ruts, snow grass, sand and custom. Additionally, there are four drive modes on offer, Eco, City, Sport and Boost. The cabin is loaded with features, a panoramic sunroof, leatherette upholstery, 65 watt fast charging type C ports and the boss mode for enhanced rear seat comfort. Seating comfort remains strong. The front seats are wide, supportive and come with ventilation and memory functions. The rear seats offer generous legroom, headroom and thigh support along with winged comfort headrests. However, we did wish for rear seat ventilation and perhaps a rear seat entertainment solution. Despite that, overall practicality is top notch with a flat rear seat floor, 502 liters of boot space, 35 liters of space in the front and multiple storage spaces inside the cabin. With the Harrier EV, you now get three key options, a circular key fob with summon and remote tailgate control, an NFC card and a digital key for smartphones. The variant we tested was the top of the line Harrier EV. It packs a 75 kilowatt hour battery and a dual motor setup with the front motor making 158 PS and the rear motor 238 PS. Together, they churn out over 300 horsepower and 504 Newton meters of torque. Interestingly, peak power and torque are accessible only in the boost mode which unleashes the Harrier EV's full potential. Additionally, the Harrier EV supports vehicle to load and vehicle to vehicle functionalities enabling you to power appliances or charge another EV. The MIDC claimed range of the Harrier EV stands at 622 km on a full charge, while the real world range is expected to be between 460 to 490 km. For most users, extracting over 400 km of range in everyday driving conditions should be achievable. Harrier EV supports 120 kW DC fast charging, allowing a 20 to 80% SOC in just 25 minutes. Using a 7.2 kilowatt AC fast charger, a 10 to 100% SOC is achieved in 10.7 hours. Driving the Harrier EV is where things really come alive. First off, the driving position is commanding, as you'd expect from a Harrier. The steering adjusts for both reach and rake, and finding your ideal driving posture is easy. 
even for tall drivers. Now comes the major change, the suspension. This is the first Tata in years to feature independent rear suspension and the ride quality reflects that. Even over broken patches or angled speed breakers, the Harrier EV remains composed, unlike the ICE variant. Body control is noticeably better and ride comfort is among the best in segment. In terms of performance, the acceleration is insane, especially in sports and boost modes. Tata claims 0 to 100 km per hour in just 6.3 seconds and we found that is achievable with ease. Despite weighing over 2.3 tons, braking performance was strong with good pedal progression. Though initial bite could have been sharper. Around the corners, there is body roll, but nothing excessive. This isn't an all-out performance SUV, but it's stable and confidence-inspiring for everyday use and highway cruising. We also had the chance to take the Harrier EV through a variety of off-road challenges, including a sand pit, ice patch, mud pit, rock bed, side incline, and a steep gradient climb. It handled most of these with ease, proving its capability and making it a strong contender for tackling diverse Indian road conditions. On the safety front, Harrier EV is well-equipped as it comes with a 5-star Bharat NCAP safety rating. ADAS features are present, including adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, and forward collision warning. The build quality is expectedly solid. You also get multiple airbags, ESC, traction control, hill hold assist and more. The 540 degree camera setup with underbody view adds further assurance while maneuvering in tight spaces. So where does that leave us with the Tata Harrier EV? In short, it's a big, bold and confident step into the electric future for Tata Motors. It offers a near-perfect mix of performance, comfort, features and road presence. It's the only dual-motor all-wheel drive mainstream electric SUV in its segment. While there are minor software niggles and a few missing rear seat features, nothing feels like a deal breaker. Adding to its appeal is the lifetime warranty on the HV battery. With unlimited kilometers covered. A strong show of confidence from Tata in the durability of their EV tech. If you are considering an electric SUV that doesn't compromise on presence, practicality or performance, the Harrier EV should be right on top of your list. That is all we have to say about the new Tata Harrier EV from its first drive here in Delhi. We hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching.